everybody. Today I'm going to be watching the 1972 movie The Doberman Gang. This is one of those movies I heard of when I was a little kid. I've never seen any of this damn movie, but I remember seeing the commercials for it and seeing Doberman Pinchers with spike collars robbing banks somehow. So we're going to see how just how the hell that works. God, I love 70s music. I think out of any decade of music, it would be it would be a tie or close first and second place between the 1970s and the 1980s. Because in the 70s you could have like funk music like this, like something that sounds like this, and it just sounds so cool and it fits perfectly with like riding in a car. Uh, you want a Tom's? Bring my oh, I, yeah. I hope this man isn't a part of the crime gang because he seems way too old it's to be dope. a part of this. Oh my god, the sign actually says bank burglar alarm. <laughs> no These dudes, they got no masks. These dudes, they got no gloves. Hey, over here. Oh my god, guy. these guys are the worst. It's the human factor. Oh, is this how mistakes. the Dobermans become Last a part of the gang? For five years. What I need is robots, programmed. They see an open trunk, they ignore it. It's not in the program. He's just talking shit about his two-man gang who's robots. sitting here with him. Like, I need fucking Maybe robots instead right. of you idiots. And how could you trust a man with that hairstyle? Or his? How can you trust you anyone with either of those two hairstyles? Sure, Eddie. Listen, you guys need some bread. How long do you think it'll be before you come up with those robots? Oh, I don't know, Jojo, but when I do, I'm going to need somebody to polish them nice and shiny. Oh, my God. Oh, get the I fuck out of it. here. <laughs> Idiots ruined the bank robbery. <sighs> Sir, what is this shirt you're wearing? I don't... I think he's wearing his sister's shirt. Just got his shoes all up in the bed. What the fuck? That was a weird transition. I am not gonna sit here and watch a sad criminal montage. <laughs> what the hell is this? Is he trying to trick this waitress into coming back home with him? Oh god, it worked. <laughs> he looks like he smells like brew. Oh, please don't show them fucking. I do not need this. Ew. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at these passionate kisses. That is not how you read a newspaper. Maybe that's why he's mad he actually can't read. Is your mind someone so warm and kind? Someone to love. She's like, where the f he just left a moment ago. If you just said his name, he could hear you. Who the fuck are these rapscallions? So is this gonna be his new gang? I guess? I hope not, because they don't look very trusting. Oh shit, there's a Doberman. Oh, that dog's about to eat that ass. Oh god, that dog is about to eat that ass. <laughs> Oh fuck, he's calling his boys. How many of these damn dogs are in this junkyard? Oh my god, this is not worth it. I would be over that fence so fast. Oh shit, they got him cornered. Ain't this some shit? And then the cops just show up. I don't know if the dogs called the cops or what, but... I, I didn't cut anything out. There was just a really weird transition. And this fucking freak is just sitting in the shadows watching it all. Good job, boys. I gotta give me some of those. So are they, like, boyfriend and girlfriend, or...? What's the matter, Eddie? Nothing, I'm just thinking. I lost my woman's shirt. <laughs> my uncle had a kennel, and every summer I used to... Boy, they were something. Kind of he ain't listening to shit she's Dog. saying. Oh, it's a Doberman. It's a Doberman Pinscher. 
Are you looking to buy? See, everybody, before the damn internet existed, this is literally how you had to find out information. You had to find someone who knew and talk to them. Doberman Pinchers had their time. Like, back in the, like, back in the 70s into the 80s, Doberman Pinchers were fucking terrifying. And then it became, like, pit bulls and shit. Well, I don't want to rent. I want to own. What kind of fucking shop is this? They just passed, a, like, a case with a monkey in it, and there was a toucan? Look at this shit. What is this place? So he's going to get someone in the Air Force drunk and get a dog out of him somehow? So he's hiring this army dude to give him dogs to train so he can rob banks. This sounds like a really expensive, long way to get money to rob banks. It's time for a case in the bank montage, yeah. All right. Go around the city, case in the bank, so yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, um, what? Abandoned building, not a bank at all. There goes a green rape van. <laughs> Is he about to try and rob this place? He looks suspicious as fuck. That haircut, Jesus, that's a weird haircut. How much for this place? Seven fifty a month and a year's lease. I'll give you four hundred a month and a three month lease. You talk me into it. Wait, what? I'm so confused because it's like he can do a lot of shit. It's like he just wants to do this big ass roundabout way of robbing banks. There's so much other shit he can do instead. Oh, he's taking pictures of the bank with the cast on. I honestly don't think he had to go through making a fake cast to go do that. Jesus, everything this man does is suspicious looking. So he's got his whole raggedy gang back together to do this. Is she in on this? Like, is, is she a part of the bank robbing gang? The day before payday, there's $750,000 in that bank. Retirement money. Really? There's always scenes in airports in every one of these damn movies. It's like air, airplanes were new or something. See, back in the day, you could sit in the middle seat. <laughs> Ain't nobody put a seatbelt on or nothing. This movie is slow as fuck, by the way. And I am very upset with the lack of Dobermans robbing banks I'm seeing. I hope this isn't some shit where they save it to the end of the movie and there's only one robbery done with these dogs. Because I'm going to be pissed. And this music don't fit this shit at all. They're going to be spending so much money getting this shit prepared. Come on. Oh, God, he's wearing that shirt again. Six to start with. Anything goes wrong is always a market for German shepherds. Shepherds. Can I ask you, trainer, um, how hard would it be for you to train Doberman Pinchers? Topies? What are you talking about? You would have thought they would have discussed this before hiring the guy, buying the place, buying the equipment, moving his goofy ass there. What the fuck? It's just a random bulldog in the car. Oh, it was a house policy, Eddie. You buy so many dogs. Ain't that right, Barney? You buy enough, they throw in one free. What's his name? His name, uh... J. Edgar Hoover. <laughs> <laughs> Star Robin Banks. Um, he ain't ever met these dogs, and he's just hopping up in there and just hugging and cuddling with them. They were the doggone it day. What the fuck music is this? See. All of them were animals, just like you and me. 
you can't see my face, but I'm just sitting here just with my mouth was just wide open listening to this music. This movie is so fucking weird. It's this long, weird montage of watching the dogs get trained, but... Banks! I want to see some Banks get robbed. Ew, stop letting that dog lick your face. Pet the pet. <laughs> okay, is he gonna make it this time? Yeah! Famous both as man's best friend. Public enemy number one. The way this shit is being shot and the music and everything. This doesn't seem like a movie about dudes robbing banks using these damn dogs to do it. That man only owns that shirt. Oh god, now we get to the killing training. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus, no. Oh god, they're gonna be biting booty holes, I just know it. He's gonna get his ass eaten. I knew it. He's fucking around too much. It's not like they, like, knocked him out. That's better, trainer. You know, we're starting to get results. I told you I never worked Dobermans before. I'm only used to shepherds. I want it. Jesus Christ, uh, stop it with the shepherds. Yes, we understand you've only worked with shepherds ordered. before. You have to keep on saying every damn time, talk about damn dogs. I kind of think this dude and her want to bone down. I can't stand these little places. The guy, just a guy. You always go with just guys. Mm. He wants to fuck her, and she's not interested, and he's getting mad. He's going to train one of those dogs to eat her booty. He's going to get nosy, check the barn, see that they're robbing banks, and he's going to get killed. I'm calling it. Uh-oh, he's seeing evidence. You want to rob the Pine Grove Bank with those Dobermans. First you stole the kennels, then you stole the dogs. Yeah. That's why you never talked to me about getting them. I mean, he ain't got no gun in them tight-ass pants. But what you don't know, you can't know. Like you're an expert with the dogs, and I'm an expert with the banks. How to get in, how to get out, and a hell of a lot richer. I'm not interested. He don't care if you're interested. You weren't even supposed to find out. Never come here if I'd known what the deal was. And where's that damn article that I did that interview for? I still don't know if I can do it. But you don't even know what Eddie's got planned yet. Going you totally know what he has planned. Right? He said the whole thing. You train the dogs to act according to the following plan on the day of the robbery. Shortly before closing time, Ma Barker enters the bank, crosses to the security guard. It's the only one they've got. And she'll station herself so that she can cover him. And you'll train How much did it cost to get this shit printed? For his weapon, she won't kill him. I really am starting to get worried that there is going to only be one bank robbery in this entire film with the dogs. At the slightest provocation, they will attack and kill. This seems way more complicated than just running in the bank with a gun and getting the money in 1972. $50,000 per bag in United States currency. Two dogs... 200,000. No dogs, nothing. So he's pretty much betting that each dog gets $200,000, and that sounds like a stupid plan. There's a cop and a half in that town during the daytime. I made up my mind, but I want to get a few things cleared up. Go. How much is it worth to you? My part of the job. Equal. We share like always. Equal. Right, Eddie? No, you guys didn't do nothing, really. You want me to train the dogs, go into the bank, get the money, and not to be stuck with any phony paper or anything but the real McCoy. And you want me to train the dogs to leave the bank and return to us? Right. Uh-huh. And what are you going to do? Whatever you tell us. Whatever you say. I want half. Well, hold it, Giorgio. 
He deserves half. He's doing like most of the damn work. These other two guys are worthless. Family. You do your specialty with the dogs. We help you. The dogs do their specialty. We don't kick about cleaning up after them. What's he doing now? Is he doing more stuff he won't get most of the money for? Work out right. Each dog has to have his own toad sound. I don't follow you, trainer. Simple to talk about. You assign each dog a high frequency whistle. He wants to bone down with her so bad. Get your nasty old lips off that whistle. Okay, we get it. The dogs will... You told us what would happen when you blew the whistle. You don't have to show a montage with every fucking one of these dogs getting whistled at. Jesus, this movie has almost been on for an hour and there's not been a dog bank robbery yet. Yes, eat his ass. Get him. Get him. Looking like a big ass churro. Eat his ass. I don't know why you let the hundred year old man be the one that does this, by the way. Okay, we get it. Jesus, these montages. So this is where he's gonna be when the robbery takes place? What the fuck? Keep him quiet, Jim. Go ahead, Jojo. Jay Edgar! Oh no, that dog's about to get killed. He got his ass kicked by that other dog because that dude blew the wrong whistle. Apparently there's a kill whistle and there's a the rob the bank whistle or stop stop attacking other things I whistle. I don't like seeing them kiss. They kiss so gross. I, I can't argue that with you, June, but that's not the way this thing started out. Oh, great. Now she so wants to cut of the money, too. Guys. Jesus, this is not planned out well. I'll give you a taste of mine. I'll give you a taste of mine. So this went from what seemed like 700,000 being split between three people to now five. Plus whatever amount of money they spent on supplies. So 15 grand out of over 700,000? That doesn't seem fair at all. Okay, she's cool with it. I have a feeling her and Army Dude, Dog Trainer, are going to cut their own deal. Just remember she had a See, he's just strolling along with her. She's going to fuck him. I knew it. Oh, they're about to fuck in the forest. Wait, the dogs are gonna. Go okay, okay, okay. The fucking dogs are gonna rob the bank and run all the way back to where they live? They ain't got no TV on, they ain't got no radio or nothing. Just ugh. What a boring ass place. Yeah, give me that dick. Ooh, smack. Hot soup in your face. Oh shit, he slapped her. He bitch slapped her. You better teach this dog some new manners. Oh, oh my god. Where did this come from? She threw some suck attach in his face and he bitch slapped her. Now everything seems cool. Okay. Only one way I know to stop Adobe. She's grabbing him by the throat. By the throat, huh? Uh oh! Is this how they get the right, spiky right spike now. collars? Give me some roofing nails, two or three boxes. See, there's like less than fucking half an hour left of this movie, and they're just now getting ready to start the robbery. I am so pissed. There's been one dog robbery this entire movie. Don't mix, don't mix up the stop whistles with the killing whistles. That'd be funny if the dog couldn't get into the bank. What the hell? What's wrong? Why are the curtains closing? There, Barney. Well, what are you waiting for, Barney? Don't let her go in there. She'll get stuck. Okay, then. So what, are they pretending to be workers taking down the drapes now? This is so much extra work. Look at the dog running with little satchels. 
That'd be funny if the bank was like, fuck it, let's give it to him in quarters. <laughs> People aren't really freaking out that this dog just sauntered on in the bank. Um, why are you driving down the street your door open? Stop drawing. Oh my god. They're sprinkling dirt in the road. This is how they're doing it, I see. Oh fuck, there's a dog in the bank. Stop touching. Leave the fucking dog alone, you freak. Why is nobody concerned that a gang of dogs just walked into the bank with no owners wearing gigantic spike collars? What are you talking about? If you could get rid of everybody, then you'd have the perfect crime. This is not the time for this discussion. It's super not the time. Oh my god, a black person. I love when I see black people in this. Yeah, the black dude's like, um, yeah, this shit is squirrely. I'm going on my lunch break. Oh, thank you, Mr. Random Black Dude. Thank you for noticing this shit. Go take a break, dude. Get the fuck out of here. Uh-oh. He's like, you... That dog's like, you better get your ass right back over where you were. Yeah, you sit your old ass back down, old man. I'll bite that dick off. I'll bite that dick off. No one hears this dog snarling in the bank. This is insane to me. What are you waiting for? Blow the whistle. What are you doing? Blow the fucking whistle. This is where I leave you. Wait, what? You get to work or you're a dead man. I got the dogs in the bank. You can't touch them unless you go in there yourself. You remember the dog saved my life once? I'm just returning the favor. Oh my god, what a plot twist. He's gonna shoot your ass. What do you think you're doing? It's all you do is blow a whistle. It's really not that difficult. I'm not sure. It's a whistle, you freaks. Operator. No, get off that phone, that dog gonna eat you. Yeah, <laughs> dog gonna rouse you up like cattle. <laughs> oh, come the fuck on with this. Now that the robbery's actually happening, I'm just like, whatever. It's not as fast or as cool as I thought it was gonna be. I think he wants you to take the note from his mouth. I ain't reaching for that damn note of that damn dog's mouth. I can't read. This is a hold up. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Yeah. That's what you get. Got that arm. Oh, he's eating that shit. He's eating that arm. This is the ugliest bank. <laughs> Go down, old man. That man didn't make a single sound. He didn't make a single sound as he got his arm ripped open. Ew! I think you better read the rest of the notes, Andy. <laughs> I'll be damned if this seriously, this is the ugliest bank ever. Sandy's the only normal-looking person in this bank. Thank you. Mr. Paxton, what do we do? Let's give him the money. Hey, fuck this. I ain't look, getting eaten to death by no dog over no money. You better turn your ass right back around, sir. There you go. That's exactly what you do. Oh, they just have plain paper. They're trying to trick the dogs with plain paper. Don't do it, woman. You keep your weird hair itself. They are still sprinkling the dirt. How far away are they? This is the longest fucking bank robbery. I am so fucking sick of hearing these maracas and that guitar over and over. You get your cut. Equal. Oh, he's gonna shoot her ass. Like he's leaving already? The shit's not finished. Way to counter chickens before they're hatched. There, hurry up, get the fuck out of there. Jeez. They were the 
Oh, here we go with this goddamn music again. <laughs> now she gotta make it back. I mean, the stupid, the stupid ass plan worked, but the guy who started this all, I don't trust him for a second. Okay then. Now, I'm every time I see a police car in these movies, I'm amazed at how big those lights were on top of the cars. So is the cops gonna chase the dogs all the way back to the ranch? Then what? Um, you didn't, none of you saw it, but somebody accidentally hit one of the dogs with a car, and another dog was like, oh, he down, and just took the money and ran with it. Really? They got him checking out another dog? This dog wants to fuck now? Wow, this plan wasn't as th well thought out, so so far they've lost one dog to get hit by a car, and another dog is trying to bone down. I don't understand why they didn't just have the dogs hop in the car with some, one of them. Because apparently they've left in like four separate vehicles. Oh shit, she's gonna have the dogs kill them. Oh my god. The cheerful music starts back up again. Oh god, he's trying to bite his dick. Stop trying to bite his dick. <laughs> like he's on fire. Oh my god, these dogs are mauling them to banjo music. No one wants to die to banjo music. Oh my god, he's eating his dick. I'm eating his dick! Look at her, she loves it. Look at her, she's just laughing her ass off at this. You better have those guys kill them because they're not going to stop coming at you. Now she's going to make a clean getaway with all the money and the dogs, I guess. Those must be some really good binoculars, by the way. Oh no, are the dogs gonna turn on her? Is that how this ends? Oh no, none of the dogs want her to take the money. And where's the whistle? Oh, the, the pit bull. The bulldog took the whistle. Did it eat it? You better get that fucking whistle from that dog. Oh no. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking joking? This cannot be how this movie ends. This absolutely cannot be how this movie ends. You better be fucking kidding me. I refuse to believe that this is how this movie ends. Oh my god. God, the dogs made off with all the money. None of them deserved it, but what a stupid ass ending. Do they run to the trainer at least? Like, does he did he make extra whistles? Which would have been a great idea if the trainer like made extra whistles. Oh, she just gotta stand there in the middle of Hidden Valley Ranch looking like an idiot. After throwing the fucking whistle, letting the dog take the whistle, couldn't get it back from him, the other dogs are like, fuck you, we keeping the money, and they just ran away. Oh my god. I am so glad. I mean, I don't know if I'm happy or if I'm glad that I waited so long to see this movie. This is a, this is a, this is a really bad movie. I'm so pissed because I really did think that there was going to be a lot of bank robberies with the dogs. Oh, fuck off. I really thought that there was going to be a bunch of bank robberies with dogs robbing banks. There was one. This is a movie about a heist where they fucked up one robbery, then they trained dogs for another, and then those dogs took off with the fucking money at the end. And not like because the dogs are evil and was like, ha ha, we're going to spend the money. But just because they they were trained, but they were only trained for certain shit. I don't know if I'm mad or not that I, <laughs> that I waited so many years and I finally saw this movie. It would have been different if it had been really funny. But the fact that they used like the same three songs, like two or three songs throughout this entire movie was driving me crazy. Oh my god, this movie was so bad. Oh god, score, score, score. What would I give this movie out of a 10? I would give 
the Doberman Gang a 2 out of 10. I could not suggest this movie to you. I could not honestly sit here and say, hey guys, I think you should check this movie out. Because if there was at least two dog bank robberies, maybe. Just to see one get botched and then one perfected. But the fact that this entire movie built up to this whack-ass bank robbery that finally happened. And they spent so much time showing how the robbery was going to go that, yeah, the robbery went exactly how they showed like 10 minutes of this movie showing how the robbery, it was like watching the same thing twice. And just so many scenes of just people walking and, oh God, I'm fucking down with this movie. Oh Lord, this was bad. This was a stupid ass movie. That felt long too. That wasn't even an hour and a half. That was an hour and 26 minute long movie. If you guys want to check it out, it's on YouTube. Just find that shit. That's how I find movies. You can watch this on YouTube. It's terrible. But if you somehow found this page, I don't know. I still, I this sadly, I still don't know what my YouTube address is. I post these on DanteRants.blogspot.com. So I hope you enjoyed this commentary because I did not like this movie. <laughs> this movie was so, this movie was pure ass. Everybody take care and I'll talk to y'all soon.